back to my tutorial. My name is Ling and you are listening Good at Math. Today I want to help you to understand what is the function. We have function missions in a novel. Have you ever heard about a novel named Gulliver's Trouble? Do you know that function exists in this novel? <laughs> you might be thinking that what? Function? In a novel? No way. Well, I must say that yes it is. Gulliver was shipwrecked on an island Lilliput where the people was only six inch tall. A Lilliputian teller stated that he could determine Gulliver's measurement by simply measuring the distances around Gulliver's thumb. He said, twice around the thumb equals once around the wrist. Twice around the wrist is once around the neck. Twice around the neck is once around the waist. Well, nowadays people are still using this rule when it comes to shopping. You can write an equation to describe the relationship between the distance around thumb and wrist. Twice thumb, T, is wrist, W. So I have 2 times T equal W. This type of relationship is called direct variation. I mentioned this in the, the other video. So equation wrist is twice thumb is called multiply by two. So if thumb is two inch, then wrist is four inch. If thumb is three inch, if thumb is three inch, then wrist is six inch. Multiple by two is a simple function. It's like a machine that has an input and an output. The output is related somehow to the input. So what is the function? A function relates an input to an output. I have function machines right here and an equation y equal 4x. So if I put the input is 5, so 5 plus 4, we have the output is 20. See? 4 plus 5 is 20. I put another input is 8, so we have the output is 32. Now we practice a little bit. If I put the input is 7, we have the output is 42. If I put the input is 3, the output is 18. So what is the equation? If I put the input is 5, another one, okay, I'll put it 30. What is the equation? y equals 6x. So another function rule. The output is 5 less than the input. So what is the equation? y equal, equal x plus 5. So this is a function rule. Today, I give you another example. The number of pounds, P of carbon dioxide produced by a car is 20 times the number of gallons, G of gasoline used by a car. Wow, this information is not really easy to hear at all. So write a function that describes the relationships between G and P. So now I have the number of pounds of carbon dioxide is P, right? It's 20 times the number of gallons of gasoline use is G. So I have the equation P equal 20 times G. Do you remember the video I teach about plot the ordered pairs to draw a line through the points? You can see a graph like this. This is the end of the lesson today. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.